Hey scrappy friends and welcome back to my channel. As you can see I have my Cricut out here drawing up a title for me. Stick around to see what this one page layout is going to be. The font I chose does have the white on the inside so I am going back through with this marker and just coloring in the letters. And my friend is getting married. We found her dress and that's what I'll be documenting today. I'm using the stitched brackets to cut this title out. As I had mentioned, this is going to be a one page layout. I'm bringing in some Desert Rose cardstock and then I'm just bringing in a few photo mats here and trying to decide where I want that title. I'm thinking about bringing in some orange. Her wedding colors are fall colors. The orange didn't look good next to that Desert Rose, so then I bring in some different shades of green. And I do like this green paper here. I'll be incorporating that. It matches my bridesmaid's dress, which I will be documenting wedding pictures too. I'm just going to get this cardstock cut down so that it has that white border all the way around. I'm bringing that title back in. And I do want the pictures lined up on that right hand side. So I'm bringing in that green paper to see how far down I want that to go. And I'll get that cut and then I'll just adhere these photo mats on there. I won't be putting any photos on. Her wedding isn't for another year, so I um, don't want to spoil anything or give away any dresses. I bring in a couple different shades of yellows. So her bridesmaid's dresses are, again, those fall colors. So mine's green, another one is a mustard. I'm bringing in some peach, just playing off of the colors she chose for her bridesmaids. Here I have the layered flowers die cuts. So these are all just meant to be layered on top of each other. I cut a whole bunch out of all those different colors and I'll just be playing around with those, experimenting where I want them. Look at how pretty these leaves are. The stitching adds so much detail. I've been using this die cut a lot. From my stash, I'm hoping to bring in some of these little jewels and gems. They all kind of have that rose gold color. Thinking about incorporating it in with the title. That actually fits on there quite nicely. And then, yeah, just a few different options that I had in my stash. There's some clear ones, some more of that rose color. I'm just going to get this adhered down since I know I want the green behind those photos. And I do have these dots from close to my heart and they're three different shades of red and you get the circles, the hearts, and the stars. I thought this lightest color here matched the desert rose paper pretty well so I might incorporate some of those too. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, I got the embellishments down. I do have this in the page protector, so hopefully the glare isn't too bad. But I did decide to incorporate some flip flaps. I have some blue sticky notes down just to hide the dress. The wedding isn't for a year, so no spoilers are coming from me. But I did incorporate all of those flowers. I did a lot of embellishments. I added some of those little stones in here and those little dots with the heart those into all the clusters so i'm very happy with how this turned out and my dress is coming in a, this green color but that's a photo of the style i chose to go with and yeah i'm happy with how this came out i love all the flowers and I like how these card stocks are in my stash. I'll be able to use them for the wedding pictures. I know I'll be in a lot of the pictures and I'll be documenting and scrapbooking the wedding. So I hope this brought you inspiration. Go dig in your stash and see what you can find. Until next time, live a life worth scrapping. Bye guys.